the real breakfast of the champions. What's going on guys? So, uh, as you can tell right here, there's a giant stage. Problem is, I'm not going to be performing. <laughs> I wish though, but um, no, actually my mom wanted me to come and help her out at the cafe and um, well, we have our little event thingy all set up before people start showing up. And that's because the little housing development right back there, I don't know if you guys can see that, I'm going to zoom in, but those houses they're just recently built and um, they're gonna celebrate that they uh, you know the first like houses have you know officially been built in this area right next to the studios and I think there's a trailer right there but uh, I could be wrong but um so yeah that's why we're out here you know we're gonna be the ones cooking the food and then uh, there's gonna be people here just you know kinda looking around at the open houses and uh, you know all that other good stuff so this day should be pretty eventful Needless to say. say. Chino! Doesn't get any better than this. Anybody can be Mexican. <laughs> you just gotta put some feeling into the music and speak Spanish. That's how I see it. Yeah, what do you think? Don't you mean like the cooks at Farm West? Only when people have to take my picture or anything like that. That's, they have to sign. No. But people wanna, you know, take my picture, they have to sign a legal form. Not really. <laughs> Jerk? Where's your mom? <laughs> no, I'm just You're saying. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that I have to because uh, you know, I'm on the road to fame, so they have to sign a legal form. You're on the road of fame. Ah, uh, because I have contacts and I know people around here, so I have a start. <laughs> I know she can laugh all she wants, and then watch. Down the road, she'd be like, oh my god, I laughed in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle it. Okay, guys, well, um, sorry I haven't been really getting much of uh, today than that last clip, though. But um, mostly because I was busy and uh, most of the music had uh, copyright and all that other good stuff, though. But um, I wanted to tell you guys a really, really funny story, which was um, there was this older gentleman at, the, um, at our um, little stand uh, when we were serving our food. And... Um, I mean, he's he looks like late 60s, um, or mid mid to late 60s, you know, like uh, Grandpa status. And he had like a blue shirt on and a green sweater. And then uh, he got like really excited when he saw me. And then when I had to take stuff back and forth, he actually like looked at me like straight in the eye and like winked at me. <laughs> and then I came back and he was talking to other people. And he, you know, like how they, he had. Um, yeah, pretty much the hand on the hip, like right there, and I'm like, oh my god, I turned on a grandpa who's gay. But then again, it's not the first time I've actually turned on a, a gay before, so um, I guess I'm that irresistibly sexy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess that was um, pretty much what happened. Um, pretty much like the highlight of today, minus the crazy mariachi music going on though but um uh there's that and then i got sunburned again so uh yeah kind of typical well this is a sight to see there's a dead doggy on the table 
How did this happen? So what's up guys? Um, I know I haven't been really doing much as of uh, today though, but um, I'm just hanging out here at my grandma's house and uh, my grandma's watching like the Spanish version of like Miss America, it's like Miss Mexico or something like that. Uh, I think it's hilarious as hell though, but um, but no, we're over here just because um, you know, we haven't really been going over as much though because um, well, I guess we've been all kind of busy in a way or whatever though, but um, so there's that and then um, I have to come back over here um, sometime during this week because uh, you know, my grandma can't really do much and then my sister has school and work and so does my aunt. So I have to come over here and uh, do some weeding for her and uh, I'm looking for a plate in my mom's car at the moment. So yeah, uh, I'll show you guys the weeds here in a sec as to uh, what I have to do uh, sometime during this week though. But uh, I'm going to go find this, uh, this plate if I can find it. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys later. As soon as I turned it off, I found the plate. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys here the crazy weed situation that I have to pull up. And not weed as in <sighs> weed. I mean like weeds weeds that like, you know, they pop up whenever uh, they can because, well, I don't know. I guess that's what weeds do. I really don't know. I'm not a... Uh, now, a lawn expert or whatever, so I can't really say for sure though, but uh, here's the weed pile that I have to hassle with. Yeah. Very time consuming and a lot of hard work though, but I guess I'm the only one who can do it, so might as well. The dog with no voice. Hello guys, how's it going? Um, now I would have edited and put together the video that I had, or footage I had um, on Saturday as well as um, yesterday, but um, I figured, you know, it wasn't going to be really that much entertaining or anything like that, you know, plus I figured it could have used a little more footage in there, so um, I'm not going to quite um, put it up yet until maybe the end of today. Uh, because uh, my friend uh, Rosemary asked me to uh, uh, go and hang out with her just cuz so I figured you know okay you know might as well since I got nothing better to do so uh, so I'm gonna go uh, well actually what I wanted to tell you guys is that um since it's already um, you know close it's, it's already April um, you know the summer is just right around the corner um, I'm gonna get myself a gym membership and I gotta start getting back into shape. <laughs> so there's that and then uh, after I get my membership then I'm going to get some gas and then I'm gonna head over to my friend Rosemary's house. So yeah that's pretty much all that's on the agenda for today and uh, I, don't, I don't got anything else to say after this. Yeah, no more. Bye -bye. Well guys, I got a gym membership, uh, even though most of the stuff they offer for free and half price, everything was like stuff I really don't want though, but just a basic membership would have been like a freaking fortune. But uh, so I got my membership and they gave me like a free t-shirt and receipt and you know, rolls and stuff like that and all that other stuff. So uh, there was that and then um, I went to go get gas and then uh, you know, my mom paid me for helping her out at the uh, at the cafe on uh, Saturday and um, I guess I forgot to put the money in my wallet so I had to drive all the way back to the house uh, find my pants and the money that she paid me was in my jeans and my laundry basket so I grabbed it and then I basically just put like 20 bucks worth of gas in my car and now I'm gonna go and drive over to my friend Rosemary's house which is about like maybe a 45 minute driver or so something like that I don't know depending on traffic and uh, 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 all that other ish so yeah I'm gonna go even though I'm at a stoplight right now though but um uh, pretty much I'm just gonna go ahead and drive now because you know I got nothing else to say to you guys I know as much as I want to though but I'm all out of words for the moment well guys I'm here just hanging out and, uh, you know being lazy talking and you know, just 
doing whatever I feel like because I can. You guys embrace this? Can you handle this? Because I don't think you can. One doggy smothered on another. See? Okay guys, so looks like I stayed a little long because, well, stuck in another freaking traffic jam, which is freaking swell. I swear to God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill everybody here. <sighs> so I guess I'm gonna be stuck in here for God who knows how long before traffic can actually start flowing and then I can go home and uh, just do whatever I want because I'm lazy, but until then, I'm stuck in a traffic jam, just like everyone else has been through, and somewhere, somewhere, someone has been in a traffic jam somewhere, so, yeah, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy mine, in reality, I'm not going to, but, whatever. And back in another traffic jam, and still stuck. While it's raining. Doesn't get any better than this. I'm free again! Ah! Okay guys, so I just discovered like the greatest thing ever. Just comes to show that no matter how far a distance a relationship can be, if you love that person with everything you have, nothing is impossible. Okay guys, so remember when I told you that I had to come back over to my grandma's to help her weed and everything? Uh, I would have, but um, there's one minor issue. It's snowing in April. What the flip skip? It's snowing in the desert. I live in the desert, it's April, and it's snowing. What the hell is going on here? Somebody tell me what's going on. Okay guys, so I'm not really doing anything much, so I might as well just end the vlog right here. Um, tomorrow there's gonna be more stuff going on for sure, probably though, but um, you know, uh, you know, sorry I haven't been uh, you know, putting the vlogs together, I figured, you know, four days worth of footage would be a lot more better than just two or three, so, you know, that'd be my reason why, though, and I think I might, uh, do it, like, rarely, though, but that's only if, like I said, if the days are boring, there's not that much footage around, so, uh, you know, just to give you guys a, you know, heads up in advance, so, anyways, guys, I will talk to you later, keep it real, and as always, first!